on the previous episode of Ignoring the Back of the Mansion. Okay, come on. Oh no! Guys, I think I've lost all my items. Oh no. I'm just gonna listen to some music and think about what I've done. Wait a minute. I'm rich. I have enough diamonds to just buy all my stuff back. Yeah, I think I can I can handle this. I do actually have enough netherite ingots in order to upgrade my gear. But I would much rather support local businesses and support my friends shops. Threads by Skara, a full netherite suit costs 64 diamonds. Wow, okay, uh, done. Do I just take it from here? I think I do. Supporting the local economy. You know, I think that was Scar's first ever sale of netherite armor. So I'm very happy to be able to give him some diamonds because Aquatown has been a bit of a, a project for Scar and B-dubs and they've created all kinds of shops and I've made, I've made it kind of a priority to make sure that I'm buying plenty from here. I think over here this was all me. In fact, I'm going to need a lot more TNT very, very soon. And instead of just farming it myself, I think, I think it's time I gave my fellow hermits a few diamonds for their efforts, because this is excellent. And it's barely put a dent in my finances. So we should go to another hermit shop to get all of our stuff back. You know, someone pointed out that <laughs> losing your stuff on a single player world is nothing like losing your stuff on the Hermitcraft server. If you lose your stuff on here, cost you a few diamonds, but you can be up and running again in no time at all. If it's a single player, ooh, you're in for a rough ride. I've got all the books I need, and now we need to go and get some levels. I'm back to full power. I've got my fresh Gelmet, Galitra, Gegs, and Goots, and I'm ready <laughs> to get myself back on the building spree for the- Where is my B-dubs face? Where's my beautiful boy? My beautiful baby boy? Who has done this? We're gonna- We're not putting up with this. We're gonna put this straight back. Now, last episode, you might remember that I- Do you hear- What's that mysterious ticking noise? Is it just the town clock? That's not gonna get annoying at all. So you might remember last episode, I blew up a couple of times. Now, if you have a problem, you can bet your bottom dollar that someone is gonna try and fix it for you. And that exactly happened to me. This ticking is gonna drive me insane. There we go, turn that down. And on Reddit, a user called The Nefty actually posted a design solution to my problem, which I am very pleased to say, genuinely works. I wasn't being trolled. I didn't explode and die. No, it genuinely worked. And thank you very much for submitting that design from the little video that they posted. I was able to take exactly what I needed from it to create this, a brand new TNT dispenser that is quite, quite clever. It basically dispenses an observer, which then triggers all of these observers here instantly so that all of them will dispense a TNT. I mean, it's, it's beautifully simple. I'm very pleased to say that it works. Only if you're at full health. Let's give it a go. I'm not even scared because I know we're going up. Perfectly straight in to my office. How amazing is that? And you do take a bit of damage. The only problem is I don't actually have a pretty easy way down. Uh, there's ticking. I found the source of the ticking clock but it looks like there's a lot more going on here. Well, this looks very loud. So we've got ourselves a really, really cool way up. The problem is we don't actually have anything at the top worth visiting. So in today's episode, I want to get this place kitted out for what I wanted. First of all, we need to put baby boy beat ups his face back up on the roof. I need something to look at. And what I'm also thinking, what I'm thinking is we link up these two areas right here because I own both of these buildings and I was thinking I could make a little walkway between the two of them and have an extra large, very unique office. First, let's get B-dubs' face back. All is right with the world. We've got our beautiful baby boy back where he belongs. I have, I genuinely have no idea where this face went. I don't, I've looked around. I haven't seen it anywhere. Like it hasn't popped up somewhere else on a building. So 
the mystery of the missing B-dubs face is basically not solved. I've just replaced it. But I've also done a little bit of work and tidying up in my office. So, here it is. The complete thing. I've just, I haven't really done a lot of decorating down here, but I have just sort of tidied it up a little bit. But are we ready to go up? Are you at full health? Yes. Oh, this is so clean. I love it. Oh, sometimes, very occasionally, it just misses. Kind of, I kind of bigged it up a little bit too much there, didn't I? Scar's here to watch it fail. Hello? Ah, oh, that scares me! Oh my god! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was just playing with my Mandalorian toys. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna meet me in my office? Yeah, but I don't want to blow Baby Yoda up. You'll be fine. Yeah, you put no. You need you need armor. You need armor. Bail. Bail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go up ourselves now, hopefully. Nice and clean. And look at that! It's perfect! And so I've done a little bit of work inside here. I now have an official office. So I've got my, like, my little throny chair there. We've got Creepy Green staring at the diamond chandelier. I managed to fit a mini diamond chandelier in here and I think it looks pretty awesome. So that's that's pretty much it. This is my office. I can see... Oh, no, didn't manage to do that. And I've also got like a Mr. Burns style trap door. So if I'm having a meeting with someone and I don't like what they're saying, I press the button and down they go. All the way down. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, dude. I, I was talking halfway here and I realized, oh, voice mod. <laughs> did, you, did you not hear me say, you need armor? You need armor. No. Okay, so the launcher is really, really clean. And I absolutely love the office. Maybe we should ask Scar to come and visit because I am absolutely dying to try out my new Mr. Burns trapdoor. And also, I've added a little walkway. Now, I did talk about this last episode. I've added a little walkway between the two because I have two offices, right? I've got both of these buildings and I kind of wanted to connect the two. So I have done with a little bridge that's, I think, I think this is kind of cute. So I can travel from one to the other. So I haven't decorated this particular one yet because I actually think it's a bit of a shame that there is a bunch of stone here because I reckon if I remove this, I can reveal the really beautiful big blue pyramidal pyramidal pir pir pyramid roof that's part of this build so i think by removing this i can add another diamond chandelier here and have i, I guess another office but i think this stone is almost a little bit of a shame and also this allows lots of natural light in so we're going to remove this. There we go. That is super impressive. And I think there's room here for another diamond chandelier. What are you doing in my chair? It clearly says CEO of Barge Co. Green. My chair. Welcome to my office. I don't think so. So check it out. I have built yet another diamond chandelier. I honestly, I mean this, I can't get enough of these. I think just even remove the diamonds, change the diamonds to emeralds, gold or iron. I think this design just really looks good. I, I love it. I reckon you could change these to normal lanterns and it, I, I, I don't I don't have a seat. I don't have a seat. Okay, I'll, I'll sit. Yes. I don't think he's thought this through. I have called you here because of the head. It needs to go. This one with fire. No. And get out of my office. I will not let you hurt my little baby boy. Out, 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 out. <laughs> he just gave up immediately. Okay. I don't know what Scar's got against this beautiful B-dubs face, but he's got a real problem with it. Okay, so, yeah, I've got this lovely diamond chandelier, and I've kind of tried to decorate my office to have as much space available around it. I've got myself a bed for when you need to sleep on the job, and I've got myself a nice chair. So, I, I immediately thought to myself, why on earth have I got two offices? I've got one there with a diamond chandelier, and one here with a diamond chandelier. 
So I just thought to myself, okay, well, this is the assistant to the CEO of Bargeco, and that's also Grian. Uh, Bargeco is one man. So in theory, if I have visitors, <laughs> I need to stand here, either drop them through here, or allow them to see the CEO rush over here, and then take an appointment with them. You know what? I might need some employees. I might need some additional help at the barge. There's a bit too much going on. And down here, I plan on having a bit of a workshop because I need to practice some redstone-y things. But between those clips, I actually had to take pretty much a full day off of working on Hermitcraft. And the reason was that I actually had a special visitor. The Make-A-Wish charity got in touch with me and said that there was a viewer that really, really wanted to meet me and I offered to give them a tour of Hermitcraft. So that's what I was doing for pretty much most of the day and we had a wonderful time walking around, seeing everything was built and we actually made him a little house and I promised that I would show it in a video. So here it is. This is Barry Boss's 1234's house and we made it on April Fool's Day of all days. He's got a skin that's very similar to mine. I wonder, wonder where he got this skin from. And we made a lovely little interior together. And so his house here and part of his Make-A-Wish is that he is part of the Green Mansion. So with that detour out of the way, I have shown it as I promised. We need to go back to the barge because this is very much a barge episode. So if I go over here, that's where the barge is, of course. I've got a little surprise here. And it is that there is no water. I have spent a couple of evenings this week working on preparing my new venture. The next evolution of Barge Co. This is what I'm working on at the moment. And the premise is extremely, extremely simple. I, it's going to take a lot of building, but the idea is simple. It's a minigame shopping experience. And this works best if I go and explain it over in my workshop. So, in this minigame, you are in a minecart the entire journey. And there's powered rails like this. Now, along the track are going to be multiple shulker boxes. So, pretend that this is... This is the build that we're going through. So the minecart starts here. And as you go along, you've got to grab as much as you can from the shulker boxes before you get too far away. And the GUI closes. So this might be going a little bit faster than it is right now. But let's pretend that I'm going in. I've got to grab all the junk that I can. And if I get too far away, it automatically closes. That is the concept. It's going to be a roller coaster ride where you pay to enter and you can grab as much as you physically can within an allotted time. And there's going to be music playing and it's going to be amazing. Now, what's this called? Well, this is going to be called the HCBBS. Of all things, it's going to be called the HCBBS. The Hermitcraft Big barge sweep. Amazing. I've been conceptualizing and preparing for this for a very, very long time. So where does this start and how does it work is what you're asking. How do I join the HCBBS? Well, I'm planning and this is where I've run into a bunch of problems with this project already is that I wanted to start at the barge HQ. I wanted it to start here and I started digging a tunnel all the way to where the barge ends. But I want it to play music, which means the jukebox will be out of range. So I've got a load of hurdles to overcome with this before I can get it even remotely ready for playtesting. However, I think I've got some ideas and there's gonna be some, some very <laughs> tape and bubblegum ways of keeping this together. But basically, that bit's gonna be like an introduction slash tutorial as you get to here, and then you're going to press play on the real game. And I've also run into a bunch of issues, such as the vault down here. And I was thinking of actually just leaving this as it is. So what I need to do now, I'm definitely not going to be able to get this finished in one episode because this is an enormous task. For a start, I need to finish mining out all the bits of this roller coaster. And then I'm going to have to build basically another barge. And then I'm going to have to build a roller coaster on that barge. So this is a, this is a multi-episode project right here, but I've, I've revealed the plan. So what I think we should do is get into a proper time lapse and get this thing totally 
properly underway so that you can see some real progress on this and working out price and stuff i'm not sure we'll work that out later on this could be a disaster because if people pay 10 diamonds and they're able to take 50 diamonds worth of stuff i messed up i will have messed up big time so it's going to take a lot of play testing and a lot of trial and error to get this going but hopefully that explains the premise and let's get into a time lapse let's go So, I've got quite a lot of progress done, although it doesn't really look like it, all I've managed to do is this tunnel, but you'd be surprised how long this sort of thing can take. So, I've been preparing and planning what I would like to do. So, what I've got here is a jukebox disc with my test on it. Now, this is just a rough example of what it's going to be like. This is not the final disc. I, ju I just made something to kind of give it a go. So, so you pay your 10 diamonds, you get here, and then you're going to play the disc. Welcome to the HCBBS, the Hermitcraft Big Barge Suite. That's me. In this game, your task is extremely simple. To open up as many shulker boxes as humanly possible and to get... Uh, not that one there, that, that one's empty. You need to get as many items from the shulker boxes as po Can you... can you hear... hello, can you... So that's the idea, you play the music disc and it's going to talk to you and play some music, explain the rules of the game during this tunnel segment. Then, when you eventually get to the end of the tunnel segment, that's when the game really, really begins. You're going to go on a roller coaster ride around a custom made arena or barge map, whatever you want to call it, and you've got to grab as much stuff as possible. But I got a little bit stuck on some of the design aspects of it. So I know what I want to do, but I reckon what we need is as you go round all of these, we're on the track, it needs to be themed differently. So I'd like to see in the comments if anyone has some ideas for what the themes could be, what could be going on. What could we have? Do we want like an actual supermarket bit and then it could transition into Jurassic Park or whatever it is. I'd like to hear some ideas. And then eventually you make your way up into this segment, which is going to be a very similar design to the barge. Also, this beacon flex was brought to you by Barge Co. I decided to make my beacon out of diamond blocks because why not? So this project is going to keep me extremely busy for quite a few days and it's going to take me a long time to actually get all of the details right with all the timings of the redstone and I'm going to need some help probably from Impulse or someone who knows what they're doing. I can make this but I obviously I'm not able to quite time everything just yet so I just guessed for now but later on down the line I'm gonna make this really really seamless. So I've done quite a lot of work on this for now and I'm gonna leave it where it is for the rest of this episode because there's one thing I really really want to do before this episode ends and that is the next edition of the Hermitcraft jungle map. So Going back in time, this is the first one I ever did, episode 25. In hindsight, I should have done one episode one or two. I kind of didn't think about it until much later. So this is what it looked like while Mumbo's base wasn't finished. Look, the mansion was barely started. The, the back wasn't finished back then. <laughs> and then I did another map set on episode 41. And that was uh, about five months ago. Wait, no, wait. Wow, more like six or seven months ago. So a lot has changed. Scar's base has expanded. Look, there's the old chest monster. I love the fact that that's on the map. Ren's base has changed an extreme amount and a lot more progress has been done. Although not an awful lot has changed on the, on the mansion, but enough, I think, to warrant the next stage of the map story. So what we're gonna do is set up a space for this 
and we are going to get all the maps. Now, this takes over an hour. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but it genuinely takes an extremely long time to get a map like this done. So we're going to quickly go ahead and sort this out and be back in about two seconds for you guys. You know, I never noticed, but I think if I stare at this, I don't know if it's just me or my eyes are playing tricks on me, but the, the forest seems to be sort of flashing, like, slightly. Hi, this is actually editing green. So I can see what you see and there's definitely no flashing. So I think we can all agree that recording green is crazy. Let's go back to the episode. Some, something weird with the lighting's going on here. Anyway, I have put together a giant map and I've extended it an entire line on the bottom because Ren's base, Ren's been going a bit mad really, hasn't he? Look at this, he's, he's, he's made an entire biome and I thought it would be such a shame to miss out on this hard work that he's been doing here. So I decided to expand it and get the full effect. So there's been some real progress here. The mansion looks a lot cleaner, still not finished around the sides here, but this main structure definitely looks way cleaner than it did. And then Scar's base, loads of progress there. Ren's base, he's put us all to shame because he's got a whole bunch of stuff that's popped up. So I'm pretty glad that I started this map thing because at the end of the day, it's keeping a really nice record of how things have progressed over time. And guess what? There's still a small shulker box <laughs> right here. Sh small shulker monster from Scar. It's not over yet. So I'm pretty glad that I started that and we'll do another one right at the end of the season. So I'm afraid that that is all I have time for today. It's been quite a busy episode, even if it didn't seem like it. And I have to say a huge thank you for all the patience that you guys have and for coming back even if I don't upload for a week or two. I've been extremely busy in real life. It happens, I am a real human being after all, and I have other things to do sometimes. So it's nice to know that I can take a few days off just to get my house in order and then come back and upload videos. I am hoping to be a bit more active, but there's uh, still quite a lot that I need to get sorted. So videos might be a little bit slower than normal, but it's amazing to have a community that is quite happy to wait those few extra days because I refuse to put out a video that I'm not quite happy with. So we're gonna be working next on the HCBBS for the next episode. So I'm gonna go back to working on that and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye.